Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be a ridiculous question reading. So this is a new type of reading that I'm going to be trying. So uh, let me know what you think down below. But the first row is going to represent what is the fastest way you can get rich right now. You have this office card. It says delegate more can help you increase your earnings. Uh, it also says, think of the greater good than oneself to achieve a better outcome. You also have this parenthood card. It says, healing your inner child will help you make money, uh, which is very interesting. Um, Pisces also had something about kind of their inner child being more playful, being less serious, um, you know, not uh, kind of looking, um, you know, it's almost like looking away from competition. That doesn't mean that there won't be competition in your life or anything like that. It just means that, you know, if you are in like a competitive field, for example, uh, is there a better way to do things? Or is there another way that doesn't involve, you know, competition? Or is there not, <coughs> sorry, is there another way to uh, do things that, um, you know, could be more co-creative or just different in some way? And I kind of feel that's what that inner child card is saying. I definitely feel for you, Cancer, that asking for help or um, getting people to help you uh, kind of increase your efforts um, or to work on projects or whatever could be a good idea. I even think like, you know, I kind of feel like some of you are being asked to step up as a leader here with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is your card, Cancer. And so you're showing up in a very strong position, literally the first position there. So I think that you taking the lead on something would be a good idea. I do also feel that like if some of you are thinking about, you know, working together with another person, um, but you know, I don't know, it's like popping into bed like as a podcast, like maybe you want to start a podcast with a person or something uh, that might only be for one of you. But if you're thinking about doing it, I would do it. I think it could lead to some, an increase in your finances for sure. Queen of Cups, as always, says follow your heart and you're a cancer. So I would definitely follow your heart as far as income is concerned. Uh, you have the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords is about like moving away from things that are hard to do. And uh, I definitely get that feeling for you with that childlike energy card that says healing your inner child uh, will help you make more money. Uh, I think that doing things that are more, that have a nicer flow, that are easier. I think we said this in your last, the weekly reading that I just did for you. I can't remember what week that is, the 16th or something like that. I don't remember. I don't, I really, I never know what date is. So there you go. But, um, you know, I kind of feel that's what's going on here is that it's saying like move away from things that bring you into choppy waters. I do also feel that some of you are clearly moving away from something and this could increase your finances. If like you're moving away from something that's hard and you're doing something, especially if you're doing something you've never done before, then I feel that is really going to be great for your abundance. It is a very abundant reading in general. You have this elephant, uh, this elephant spirit, this turkey spirit, both cards of abundance. You have this abundance card showing up in your third row. You have the nine of pentacles, the magician, you know, really, really good cards for increasing abundance in general. Uh, but I think the six of swords, just intuitively, my feeling on this is that it's really saying that you have to move on to something you've never done before. Uh, they are going to calmer shores, the woman and the child in this boat, and there's a child here. So again, childlike energy. Uh, so you know, I kind of feel like this is saying that you doing something uh, that you've never done before is going to be the t the ticket to success. You also have the Page of Wands. Uh, the Page of Wands is doing something that is he is enthusiastic about. So he just gets excited about a new idea, and that's the direction he moves in. So if you're excited about anything new, new project, uh, new direction, I would also say going this way, you have this this Hawk Spirit showing up here. The Hawk Spirit is a card of kind of like being a visionary. So you might have some visionary ideas. I am even getting something about your dreams here. There aren't really any cards here that would represent that, but it is popping into my head that there could you could be having like dreams about your future abundance or you could be having dreams about uh, you know getting rich in the future. And I would pay attention to those dreams. With the Queen of Cups, you have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, for, this is about letting go of your old financial story. So I think that's part of it for you to increase your wealth right now. Uh, letting go of your old story about money. Um, some of you I'm getting could kind of be breaking a um, like a generational curse type of deal here. Not really, but you know I think we all have stories in our families about money. It's like maybe if you look at your grandparents and your parents, it's like maybe they all went through the same things basically. And I kind of feel this is saying you could be the person um, that breaks that, you know, that generational curse. It's not really a generational curse. I think it's more just a story, right? And with this uh, Six of Swords, you have the star. Uh, I'm getting a couple things here immediately. Number one, your focus. The star is about having a North Star. 
and really being focused on accomplishing like one big goal, wish, or dream. You know, it's like having that one thing that you work towards. I think this is very important right now. I say this all the time because I think with Pluto and Aquarius, we should all have, you know, this card right here is Aquarius. And I think we should all have like one thing that we work on during Pluto and Aquarius that is kind of like one big goal or like one big life plan. It could be anything, right? Uh, one thing to create. And I think that if you do that, it could be something that literally increases your wealth. Uh, I also feel that this is saying that you need to kind of like speak up more with that star card or, you know, shine your light more. Uh, with the page of wands, you have the emperor. Did you, didn't I thought you had the empress, but you don't. I'm making that up in my head. But you have the emperor uh, just taking action, right? Uh, making a move on something or doing something, that, uh, you know, kind of like being ready to take action. Then normally the emperor has his armor on underneath his cloak. And it just kind of represents the fact that he is ready to go at a moment's notice. He is ready to take action. And I feel like this is what's, uh, what's this go that's what's going on here. It's time for you to take action here, Cancer. Uh, next in the area of what are the animals trying to say to you, you have this zebra card and this elephant card. I feel like the zebra is saying that you have like this unique take on um, a certain direction in your life. And so you're about to become more unique is what I feel with with the uh, with the zebra. I feel like that you are kind of like no longer blending in. There is something here about protecting yourself. You know what's really funny is that there's a story popping into my head about the zebra. You know, they studied zebras in the wild and they uh, painted zebras, like they painted red on them or something like that, right, to study these zebras. Um, but what happened was every single zebra they painted got attacked by a lion because basically they weren't blending in anymore, right? They, they like ruined their camouflage by painting on these zebras. And it's popping into my head. Like I'm, I'm taking that to mean that you, right, like right now, I think you're in this zone where you need, you need to take action on, on an idea. I think you need to shine bright, but I also think you need to protect it from, you know, the predators, right? You need to protect your ideas. So be careful uh, who you're sharing your ideas with. The elephant is all about luck. And the elephant is also like the destroyer of obstacles in this deck. So I think that a lot of you could be uh, removing obstacles from your life. Uh, you have the turkey, the hawk, and the antelope. Uh, the turkey says, uh, give give with grace and gratitude. The turkey is kind of like an energy of abundance. And so I feel a lot of you, this whole entire reading is very abundant. I feel like you are very focused on abundance. I think that the turkey is saying, you know, it's almost like there's abundance right in front of you that you need to scoop up. You know, I, I think that, you know, turkeys are kind of like chickens, you know, just a bigger version of a chicken. And, you know, chickens kind of scratch at the ground and they pull abundance up. Uh, right in front of them. And I almost, like, that's almost what's popping into my head here with this turkey spirit. So it's almost saying, like, there is abundance right where you are right now. I think you just have to kind of scrape it up. Uh, th but it could, you could be scraping this up from your ideas. You have this hawk spirit says, let spirit be your guide. I was getting something, this is not really a dream card, but I was getting something kind of about your dreams or, you know, I was getting something about paying attention to what the, the dream world is telling you here. The hawk is also a visionary. Uh, on top of that, you know, if you've ever seen a hawk, they get chased around by little birds. So I, I really feel this is continuing that message of needing to protect your ideas from people who are going to hate on them or who are going to get in the way of your ideas. So I would make sure that you're protecting your ideas. I also, on top of all that, I have something about love here. Like you might be interested in a person and I would be careful of like not only telling people, but you know, sometimes I think we tell a person, oh, I'm interested in this person and they're like, oh, don't date that person or whatever. You know, I, I like I get that popping into my head here. I would be careful of that because, you know, it could just be a miserable friend. It could just be someone who has no freaking clue what they're talking about. And uh, again, they could be preventing you from getting into a really good connection. Not really a love reading. These readings aren't even really meant to be about love, but it is popping into my head. Uh, you have this antelope spirit says life is speeding up. That's the truth, right? So I think things are getting faster and faster. And this is about you adapting to the changes. And I also feel like there's plenty of room to take advantage of the changes that are happening in the world. You know, the big one being AI, right? Everything's getting faster. AI is getting smarter by the day. And before you know it, it's going to be, you know, folding our laundry for us probably. But what I would say here is like, how can you take advantage of, of those changes right now? Or how can you use the tools that exist in your life? I think you're going to start noticing kind of like, you know, what, what this row is saying is that you're going to start noticing uh, bigger changes in your life. Like I, I feel you are making these bigger leaps. 
Uh, with the turkey spirit, you have the king of cups here. I just want to look around. And yeah, I think you could be attracting. See, I, like I got this here. I, I think you could be attracting a person uh, into your life. It could be another water sign or it could just be a person. It could actually be an earth sign or a fire sign as well. But I think it could be a person who has a very watery type of nature to them. And so I feel that this is saying, you know, definitely if you're interested in a person, uh, I would protect that. I would protect it at all cost here. Uh, with the hawk spirit, you have the hermit. Uh, the hermit is about shining your inner light. We see this right here. The hermit normally has the star in his lantern, and you have the star here. So there is something in this reading about, you know, it, it's also kind of funny. There's a pregnant lady on this parenthood card. So it's almost like you need to, you do need to birth something into the world. It's like this baby has to come out. Maybe this baby's been inside of you for years. You know, this, this might be a full grown adult that's growing inside of you and you need to birth it, whatever this new thing is, because it's time. And, uh, but at the same time, you know, protect your ideas. With the antelope, you have the magician. See, I think you're attracting bigger leaps forward in your life. You have the magician twice here. And I think that the magician is saying that you are, you have kind of stepped into this energy where you are attracting things much faster or you're, there's something about change here as well. I'll show you on this one. Uh, it's just easier to see on this version, obviously, but he has a snake wrapped around his waist and the snake represents the Ouroboros, which represents reinvention. So I, I feel a lot of you are in this time of reinvention. And that's the other thing as well. You know, one thing I want to say is that this could be the reason why this reading is saying protect your ideas. It's like, if you're changing as a person, it's like sometimes when you change, people are like, what the hell is cancer doing being a different person? Even though you're not, you're probably just embracing your inner truth or whatever. And so there might be people who are kind of like trying to get you to not make the changes that you're making. I don't get that in this row. I get that right here in this animal row. I think your your animal spirit guides, whatever, are kind of like saying it's time for you to you know make the changes you know you need to make that are unique to you and like not worry about what other people are saying. Uh, next, we're going to look at what unusual skill should you learn right now? And you have this illumination card and this abundance card. So it could just be creating abundance or uh, creating more abundance out of the life that you're in right now. Uh, the other funny thing that's popping into my head here is that this literally could have to do with making money. But like, let's say you're the type of person that has a career, you could be doing things to make more money on the side, you know, you could be starting a side hustle. And so that could be something, you know, I think it's coming up in this row as like an unusual thing that you could be doing, just because people in your life don't see you as the type of person that would do these things. It's almost like, it's almost like you are, maybe you're like a very serious person and you're learning uh, stand up comedy, right? And people are like, wait, they're not funny, you know? <laughs> so I think that some of you uh, could be doing something that's like a little bit outside of what you would normally do in your life. And it, I, I think really it's more unusual to the people in your life. It's not, I think it's very normal for you. I think that, um, you know, really what this row is saying is that you have a skill. And it's something that maybe you have kept hidden, or maybe it's something that you don't really do every single day. And now you're kind of unleashing this skill from inside of you, Cancer. And I think it's kind of capturing people's attention. You know, I think it's something that um, maybe is getting people to notice you. Uh, I also feel like some of you are about to make a big change here. And it, I, 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 this is nothing um, hidden or anything like that. I think that if this, if what I'm about to say is for you, I think you already have been thinking about this. Uh, so again, I, I do see for some of you that you are about to make a big change. Like maybe you've been going to like medical school and you're about to like drop out and go to cooking school or something like that. Uh, Cause I, again, I get this feeling of you making a change that people don't like. It, it's not that like, people don't like it. I think it just, you know, people put you us into boxes as humans. And then when we leave that box, they get uncomfortable. And I definitely get that feeling for you here, cancer. It doesn't have to be your career. It could be anything in your life. Maybe you're like moving for example, and, and people might be like, what, you know, I thought you would always be here and you're, and you're not, you know, I, I kind of get that type of change. I know that's not really a skill, but I do think it's tied to your skills because you're about to be like doing something that's unique. Uh, the other thing that really confirms this, by the way, is the uh, Queen of Wands here. The Queen of Wands is my card of learning as you go. Uh, she also has this black cat right here. Uh, during the times of tarot, black cats were considered very unlucky. Uh, but, you know, obviously that's not true anymore. Uh, but the whole point of the card is that she doesn't care what anyone thinks. She just likes her black cat and that's it. She just wants to have the black cat and she doesn't care what anyone thinks. 
So I think that a lot of you, like, is this a skill that you're developing? Maybe, because I do think it's a skill to not care what people think. Like, you have to practice that, right? Coming from a person who used to care a lot about what people think, I literally have to embarrass myself every single day so I can stop caring what people, you know, so that I could stop caring uh, what people think, right? I've cried on camera on this channel. You can find the video. Um, you know, there's so many things I've done on purpose, right? Uh, so, um, you know, I really think that it's a skill to not care what anyone thinks and you have to practice it every single day. Uh, and by the way, I learned this from another, um, well, I used to think she's a Pisces, but then I found out she's an Aquarius. Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx, right? She, she, uh, she came up with that rule to embarrass yourself every single day, like singing in the elevator, dancing in the elevator, dancing in the store, stuff like that, right? So I think that uh, you developing that skill would be very, very powerful for you here. Uh, I also think, again, you are transforming or changing or, um, you know, kind of living your life according to cancer. <laughs> and, and and again, part of that, when you stop caring what people think, then, then you can do that. So there you go. I think maybe it's time for you to cry on camera. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, you have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is a card of uh, expansion and growth. So I think that for a lot of you, you are growing past the Eight of Swords. I, think, I really do feel that the Eight of Swords is not self-imposed restriction. In this reading, I think the Eight of Swords is the box that other people have you in, and you're just expanding past it. With the Queen of Cups, you have the uh, Five of Cups. Five of Cups is about practicing gratitude as well. So I think in this row uh, that another skill you could develop is is gratitude. Uh, another skill that has completely changed my life, just being grateful for things. Uh, I do it in a little bit more specific way. Like I used to be the type of person where like I'd have an accomplishment right on to the next one. I rush right past it. But, you know, over the past like four or five years or so, I would say, uh, I've really taken the time to kind of like expand every little win that I have, no matter what it is, right? So I really take just like a little extra time to be grateful and also to celebrate uh, the small wins and again, totally changed my life. So, you know, I think sometimes we, you know, get caught up in the, in this 3D world and, you know, we kind of just uh, think like more, 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 right? More money, more, more, whatever. And I feel this is saying like, take some time to, to really soak up that good energy. Like if you're in a positive relationship, you know, take some time to soak up that energy just for a little bit extra. Uh, same thing with money and, you know, everything else. Uh, with the magician, you have the queen of swords here. Mm, I thought I saw something else, but I guess not. But anyway, the queen of swords, you know, normally she would have her back to the past on a traditional queen of swords. And she's very focused on the future. We, we see a lot of cards in this reading that represent your focus. Star, the hawk spirit, uh, the nine of, nine of pentacles. She has this falcon on her hand. And it literally represents that she is training her focus or she is learning um, you know, she is learning how to be more focused on what's important. And so like training your focus could be very important. Uh, in your last row, we're going to look at what breakthrough are you very close to, but also very far away from. <laughs> so what breakthrough is basically right in front of your face that you're not seeing. And this card says your dreams need a practical plan. You have this card that says a new romantic cycle begin begins. I do. I feel both. This is like, I feel like there's not one thing here. I think that there are two things. Number one, I think you're probably much closer to accomplishing a dream than you realize. And I think that kind of like focusing on it and coming up with a practical plan for your dreams is gonna be the thing that changes your life. I also feel like there's love right in front of you. I, I feel like some of you have your eye on a person and I feel like this is something that could take off much sooner than you think. I have Capricorn popping into my head. You do have Capricorn right here, uh, Queen of Pentacles. So it could be a Capricorn. Again, not to talk about myself too much here, but I do think it's helpful. You know, when my channel took off, it like, again, speaking of a breakthrough that happens very quickly, like I was stuck at 40,000 for forever and I grew it to like, and then I blew it up to like 100,000 in like three months, less. It might've been less. And um, then it took off to where it is now. Uh, so again, and this only happened because I my, my plan was I started learning one new thing every single day about YouTube, from YouTube, from other YouTubers. I started taking action on the things that I was learning uh, every single day, and I was paying attention to what worked and what didn't, and I just doubled down on the good stuff. L that's literally it. It literally took me about 10 minutes extra every single day to watch a YouTube video, triple speed, and to try whatever it was. So, like I was learning about thumbnails, you know, storytelling, pretty much everything, right? So, you know, pick one thing and learn about it and do it. Uh, this right here, I think there's love right in front of your face, and you need to like grab onto it is basically what this is saying. You have the Knight of Cups. So again, Knight in Shining Armor, total Knight in Shining Armor vibes here. Uh, you have the Emperor. You could be attracting an Emperor or an Empress into your life, whichever you prefer. And I feel that there's really, 
a person right in front of you. You know, he's standing in the desert, but there's water flowing in front of him. And I do get that feeling here that it's like, you know, maybe you think that love is a desert right now, right? Where where love is a disaster in, in the Tinder generation. So maybe you think love is a disaster, which it kind of is. But at the same time, there could be a really good person. And so I would like open up to love, especially if you have your eye on a person here. Uh, you have the Queen of Pentacles. I, I feel like there are a lot of opportunities for you to get practical and for you to like form a practical plan that you follow. Uh, she is kind of very practical. She's also very resourceful as well. So I do believe that using your resources uh, wisely, but using other resources that you have, not just money, but like, do you have intelligence or, you know, is there some other resource that you could use other people, right? Getting other people to help you accomplish your goals or do the things that you're trying to do in life. I think those will be like the most helpful things with the Queen of Pentacles. You also have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is about your environment and creating an environment of success. The other thing I did is, you know, by the way, with my channel was I created a setup where I literally just hit one button and everything turns on. I have a new setup now because I moved, but um, my even my new setup is more simple than my last setup. My, my old setup, I had like 19 things all plugged in. Um, you know, I had uh, my whole entire rack system. Now I only have two things, basically, well, three kind of, because I have a, a switcher, I have my computer that plugs into my computer, and I have my audio thing right over here, right? So just three things instead of like 19 things. There you go. My alarm's going off, and I've I've been I've been up for hours here, Cancer. If you can't tell, but um, you know, again, I think that simplifying your environment, the energy around you, uh, will help you kind of if you can create a simple system for like what you do. That that's where you, the simple breakthrough is going to come through. So let's see. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, you have the Seven of Swords. See, I knew it. Like, I, I feel like some of you feel that everybody's a cheater or a liar or something like that. But I really feel there's like a really good person coming in for you. As far as a breakthrough is concerned, though, uh, Seven of Swords is a really good card. You know, he is stealing those swords from an army in the background. Normally, it's a golden card. Golden cards in the tarot are meant to be positive no matter what. And the card itself says that he is, um, you know, he is kind of being tactical. And instead of going straight to war, he is stealing those swords so that they can't be used against him in battle. So it's like, are there are, are there more tactical, more intelligent ways you could be doing everything that you're doing? And the answer is probably yes. So looking for more tactical ways to do things will lead to success. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Cups. Mm, I feel like there is like, you know, Nine of Cups to me is all about just being the thing you want to be. You know, he is normally the guy on the card he is in the energy of abundance or success. And so I feel like you you just embracing the energy of what you want is going to be the thing that leads to the most success for you. I also literally just feel you're getting a wish, you know, and it could be a person uh, if you are looking for love. Uh, with the nine of pentacles here, yeah, here you go. You have the six of cups. Uh, this could be a soulmate if you're looking for love. I mean, nine of pentacles, literally going from nine of pentacles, single, or independent to, you know, a strong childlike connection. We see all this childlike energy here. And the Six of Cups is like the card of your inner child. So being more playful, uh, not taking things too seriously will probably lead to some sort of breakthrough here, Cancer. But uh, this is a really good reading. I like it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.